Hello and welcome to our travel-themed YouTube channel. We're thrilled to have you here and can't wait to take you on an exciting visual journey around the world. Through stunning photos, we'll transport you to breathtaking destinations, introduce you to fascinating cultures, and showcase the beauty of our planet. If you're passionate about exploring new places, seeking adventure, or simply looking for some inspiration, then this channel is for you. We promise to bring you the best travel content that will leave you in awe and ignite your wanderlust. To ensure you never miss a video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell. By doing so, you'll be the first to know when we upload new content and won't miss out on any of our adventures. So join us on this journey and let's explore the world together. Don't forget to leave a comment and tell us about your favorite travel destinations or anything else you'd like to see on the channel. We love hearing from our viewers and appreciate your support. 13 Dreamy Places You Can Visit Without a Passport Living through the pandemic for almost two years, with borders to foreign countries shut down, COVID-19 has taught us that there is so much beauty in our very own country. Whether you're craving a tropical escape or a winter wonderland, a romantic getaway, a girl's trip, or a family vacation, you can leave your passport at home for these 13 no-passport-required travel destinations. We're highlighting hotels and resorts in each locale that are just as stunning as the destination itself, and many have unique offerings for local excursions to immerse yourself in the culture. Not a resort person? Sometimes it's just better to explore in a van. Peace Vans renovates their vintage Volkswagen Vanagons rentals to turn every road trip into a dream vacation. Here are our favorite dreamy places you can visit without a passport. Venice, California. Walking out on Venice Pier feels like you're hovering over the ocean full of surfers trying to catch that perfect wave. Nestled between Santa Monica and Manhattan Beach and connected by a path along the sand, activities are endless. Where to stay? Venice Viv opened just this year and is a boutique hotel right on the boardwalk that encapsulates the culture of this West Coast neighborhood. Wake up to the waves crashing and steps away from the property go on a morning walk with a coffee in hand to get your day started. Marfa, Texas With a population of only 1,831, Marfa, Texas, is the small-town arts hub that so many crave. Truly in the middle of nowhere, driving long roads through the desert allows you to take in your surroundings. Minimalist artist Donald Judd relocated to Marfa from New York City, which was the start of his art movement, creating many permanent installations that are still on display today. Where to stay, Hotel Paisano is in the center of town and, aside from Western architecture, has a unique history. In 1955, the entire movie crew for Giant, including Elizabeth Taylor and James Dean, made the hotel their headquarters for six weeks of filming. Olympic Peninsula, Washington The Ho Rainforest looks like a scene from The Hobbit, with lush greenery and moss taking over every branch and tree. There are only five rainforests in the United States. And this one is simply mesmerizing. Also on Olympic Peninsula is Lake Crescent, where the water is crystal clear for a day of swimming and hiking. Where to stay, Peace Vans, located in Seattle. Washington, has a fleet of vintage Volkswagen Vanagons for adventurers to rent before heading out. It's the best way to be with nature and see all that the Olympic Peninsula has to offer to truly take in its beauty. Maui, Hawaii In 1959, Hawaii became the 50th state of the United States, making it the most tropical one to visit. Maui is the second largest Hawaiian island with everything from beaches to the sacred Yao Valley. Watch the sunset or sunrise from Haleakala National Park, and maybe you'll see a rainbow too. Where to stay? Grand Waili Maui Resort is perfect for family fun with their 2,000 feet pool that connects through water slides and swing sets. Children receive a grand passport at check-in to learn more about the island as they explore the resort. Park City, Utah Ski or enjoy a hot chocolate by the fire in this real-life snow globe. Park City, Utah is one of the top destinations for skiers, or those simply seeking a true winter getaway. 
Main Street has all of the small town feels with 19th century buildings now home to restaurants and upscale shopping. Where to stay? After a long day on the slopes, Waldorf Astoria Park City is the necessary retreat to relax and recharge. Located among the Wasatch Mountains, the room views are simply breathtaking. Most rooms have a jacuzzi which only enhances the experience. Puerto Rico In case you didn't know, if you live in the United States, you don't need a passport to visit Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is where the original piña colada was invented, and there are plenty of restaurants and bars in this colorful town to go and drink one. A short drive outside of San Juan is lush Greenlands for hiking and exploring. Where to stay? Caribe Hilton is located on a private peninsula with a secluded beach near the old San Juan Historic District. Whether you want a beach day or to visit the shops in town, the day is yours. Destin, Florida Destin, Florida is known as the world's luckiest fishing village. While its emerald waters are known for fishing, the beaches are beautiful to sit back and get some sun or get lost in a book. Where to stay? The Henderson, a salamander beach and spa resort is one of the newest and family-friendly resorts in the area. Aside from taking in the sandy shore, guests are welcome to participate in a glass-blowing class, bike on the trails, or enjoy a drink at Destin's very first rooftop bar. Sedona, Arizona Surrounded by red rocks, you might think you're on Mars. Filled with scenery and hikes along with art galleries down the main street, it's for those who seek to go off the beaten path. Devil's Bridge is the most popular hike, but consider renting a Polaris ATV to explore rocky trails that aren't accessible by foot. Where to stay? Hilton Sedona at Bell Rock is amongst the natural scenery in this Arizona desert. It's in a convenient location to tackle the day's adventures, or just for napping by the pool. Moab, Utah With the allure of a small town, Moab, Utah, is a very special place that's hard to come by. It's home to Arches National Park, which has over 2,000 arches with the Delicate Arch as its most well-known. It's about a three-mile hike that has such a sweet view waiting for you at the end. Where to stay? Hyatt Place Moab has everything you need after the day's adventure. It's only five miles from the park and one mile from downtown, where you can check out local restaurants and shops. Chattanooga, Tennessee When Nashville gets too noisy, head down to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Located along the Tennessee River near the Appalachian Mountains, hiking during any time of year is gorgeous, but especially during fall foliage. There are plenty of trails, such as Lookout Mountain where a Civil War battle took place. Where to stay? Bode Chattanooga is for any type of traveler, whether it's a vacation or for a longer-term stay with multiple bedroom rentals available. It's located in the center of the hustle and bustle downtown. Lake Placid, New York. We hope you're ready for your cabin in the woods moment. Famously known for hosting the 1980 Winter Olympics, Many athletes have trained in this area. As picturesque as it is in the colder months, the summer activities are days on the lake or getting ice cream down on historic Main Street. Where to stay? Although a hotel, the lake house feels like your very own cabin. With a balcony overlooking the lake, hence the name, and woodsy indoor furnishings and decor, including a giant fireplace in the lobby, you won't want to leave. Seaside, Florida you might recognize Seaside, Florida from The Truman Show starring Jim Carrey, which was filmed on site. Jonathan Spears, the founder of Spears Group, says, Seaside has beautiful white sand, emerald green water beaches, and was born around the new urbanism concept, which means you're able to arrive at your destination and you don't have to get in a car again. Everything you need is right there. Where to stay? Watercolor Inn is within walking distance to Seaside, but another great alternative is cottage vacation rentals. Both have that beach town vibe. Juneau, Alaska. Mendenhall Glacier might be mistaken as Antarctica, but it is in fact in Juneau, Alaska. Surrounded by wilderness, visitors can enjoy wildlife, fishing trips, hiking glaciers, and even whale watching tours. Where to stay? Without many hotels in town, 
Travelodge by Wyndham Juno is a cozy retreat after a day of venturing into the elements. The location is ideal and is in close proximity to the water and the mountains. Thank you so much for joining us on this incredible travel adventure. We hope you enjoyed exploring the world through our photos and felt inspired to plan your own travels. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss an adventure. We are always looking for new and exciting places to share with you, so make sure to leave a comment and let us know where you'd like us to go next. Traveling has the power to connect us with different cultures, broaden our perspectives, and create unforgettable memories. We believe that everyone deserves to experience the wonders of the world, and we hope our channel has encouraged you to go out and explore. Until next time, happy travels.